Okay, Josh, this one's for you since you've asked for it. Uh, streaming this with all these inputs isn't working very easily, so uh, here we go. I won't be able to hear the guitar just because I'm out of time before I have to go to band rehearsal tonight, and you want this over to you quick, so here's what I got. So go to... Um, Line 6 is Helix, so line6.com, and then uh, products, software, Helix native, and then you can scroll down and try the free trial. And then you need to sign, create a sign in. Um, so what I did was I used a fake, uh, a bogus test address uh, with my domain, and that just gets filtered by Gmail into my admin account. If I had to do anything with that, and then created that sign up, saved it in LastPass with a new password, and then free trial. Once you're logged in, and then um, hit get download, and then hit accept and download, and then I've got that here, Helix Native. Open that, double click to install, follow the instructions, just basically hit next a bunch of times. And then it tells you, it shows you this here. It tells you where those plugins are installed to. And so it's root, library, audio, plugins. And then for this case, with a Mac, it's under components. And that's Helix Native. If you're using some other software, it'll go somewhere else. And then from there, had all sorts of fun getting this. Um, so the new GarageBand is uh, a bit different than some of the older ones. It, uh, they just moved menus around, stuff like that. So GarageBand, I'll just do a new one for now. So I want to do Amp collection just for fun. Um, yeah, we'll see what this does. Okay, so it gives you a bunch of amps to choose from. We're going to create a new one and then connect guitar. And I'm running through HD500X. Um, in case it should detect it if you have the drivers installed, you'll need uh, to go through the um, Line 6 Monkey app, get your drivers installed um, to get to the point where you can talk to your HD500 as an audio device. And then in sound, um, you should have that as an input. And then the software should automatically pick it up pretty quick and easy after that. So. I'm not going to go through that because that was a long time ago and it uh, requires a restart. Um, so then uh, check that you want to hear your instrument as you play and record. And then I've got uh, some settings here, but we'll go ahead and hit create. And then again, uh, to show you where that menu is, it's um, GarageBand, Preferences, and then it restarts the core audio every time you change one of these. So for this recording for OBS, OBS Studio is being stupid on the Mac. It, it's not recording desktop. So this was what chewed up a lot of my time this afternoon. Um, but I show you audio capture is a replacement for Soundflower in case you want to try this. Typically, you'll just want built-in output or system settings for your output device 
this here is why I can't hear what I'm doing. Um, but what I've, and then set your input device to HD 500. And that is what's going to let you use that as a low latency input. And then enable audio units should be left alone, should be checked. And then we should be able to go plus connect guitar. I think we just did that. Maybe not. Okay, yep, here. Guitar one. So as I play my guitar, um, it is metering, and had I not rerouted my audio, I would be able to hear this naturally. So you should be able to hear this in the recording. So. I've got that. And then um, I have it set to a Brit clean. And then those controls are down here. This is the... Uh, um, so library shelf on the left, and then the smart controls is what lets you change these settings. So then here you have uh, amp designer, so you can do all sorts of things, move the mic around, do different mic placements, change the microphone, change the amp. Um, so right now I've got a British combo, British amp, British tuba 12, and then gain settings and effect settings. And then it's on. So you don't mess with this button, you actually hit this little X. And then in your amp settings, so under track, online you'll see hit this button and then hit the I for inspector. They got rid of that, so now it's track. And then um, under the plugins drop in. And this is what confused the crap out of me for quite a while. Um, so I don't want these. Um, these are really good, but um, we want the Helix one. And I couldn't figure out how to add it. Um, and what happens is if you hover over these, you can power them on and off, change their settings, and it would bring up a settings window. Um, but I didn't want that. I wanted to change it. So what you do is you hover over, hit this little menu, and then you can get to your audio units, line six, Helix native. And there it is. So then from here, uh, I was using, I scrolled down, I went to factory two, and then scrolled way down to like a super clean, And I don't remember how far down I had to go. Uh, <laughs> anyways, I picked a super clean one off of this British amp. And then uh, that was one way to get my guitar sounding pretty good. Uh, maybe it's this one, Cavern is Clean. So two clicks here, it loads up, and then you get... Okay, and then um, to load... Uh, your guys' is preset, you go to his video, and then down in the description, download this patch, and then get the Helix patch, click that, and it will download the HLX file, and then in your presets, pick a user preset um, so that it's empty so new preset import and it's important you do a new preset because it's going to want to override this spot um, so downloads 
and then oh come on import there WTC patch open yes and then this loads all of his pedal presets and it doesn't sound terribly great on my guitar but it is what it is so then now that that's loaded two clicks and then give it a second and then it loads up and then uh, I can go to Chimey Drive or I can go to Swell and this one's pretty epic and again I don't know quite how it sounds right now I'm about about 5 out of 10 on my volume knob, 10 out of 10, and then my bright bridge pickup. So nothing except for volume has changed during this playthrough. And then I can uh, roll my knob. And that's how you get his patches pulled in. So it's this button to change between the set list snapshots. And that is how you get Helix all set up in GarageBand. And then if you want, you can turn off some of this other GarageBand stuff. Um, they have their own pedals available if you wanted to load those up. So there's more more stuff to play with. But to pull up the Helix, you push these EQ buttons here, and then you get into the pedal designer, and then um, you can mess with all of the crazy amounts of settings and uh, effects options here. So that is how you do that on the Mac with an HD 500 as your uh, line input. So I've just got uh, a quarter inch cable from guitar into the line in and then USB into the MacBook Pro and then loaded up all the software. That is how I did that. So there you go. Uh, Again, I was I was having a terrible time initially with how my guitar was sounding, and so I went over and switched up the the GarageBand amplifier itself. Um, what you can do as well is just create a new um, line-in audio capture instead. And that will bypass the, the guitar stuff. So here it's just audio. And then you do the same thing. There's a lot less stuff going on here. So turn off the masters. Go here, add audio unit, line six, helix native. And then I can go to my user presets, double click open that up, change it to swell, and then and there you have that. And so that should be Super cut back on the 
all the crazy plugin stuff that GarageBand tries to do. Um, and then you can rearrange effects and move them around, add stuff. So keep in mind, uh, Helix is doing its own AMP stuff. So if it becomes a problem, disable one or the other. Now in this case, I'm just coming coming in audio and then into Helix's AMP. Uh, so that shouldn't, shouldn't cause too much problem. And then here it says 15 days trial. So you could just re-register as a new test user if you needed until you are confident that this would work for you in your situation. Um, so if you've got any other questions, let me know. But that's as far as I've made it. And then I've got to switch gears and go play bass instead of electric guitar. <laughs> so there you go. Hope that wasn't too drawn out and boring or too loud or audio weird, but let me know. See ya.